Welcome back. I've got my reading glasses on again. And today's story is called Room on the Broom. It's a great story. And one of my favourites from Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Um, if you know the story, join in. It's great fun. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and a long ginger plait hair that she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off her hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. There he is. He dropped it politely and then eagerly said as a witch pulled the hat down firmly on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud, ha ha ha, and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Uh-oh. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow. But no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, tap, 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 and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the birds shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond and the witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand but no wand could be found. Then, all of a sudden, from out of a pond, let a dripping wet frog. There he is. And what does he have in his hand? Yes, a wand. And the witch dries her wand on the fold of her cloak. I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? cried the witch and the frog bounded on. The witch tapped her broomstick, tap it and whoosh they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew the frog jumped for joy and what's going to happen next? The broom snapped in two. Oh no, look at the witch. Her face, oh no and everyone's falling down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar. That was scary. Loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be. Witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips said, Maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. Just 
as he planned to begin on his feast. Out from the ditch rose a terrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads and wings like a bird and its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl, a growl, a croak and a shriek. It dripped and squelched and strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, buzz off. I think the dragon might be scared. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. Oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and off he went through the sky. Down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. Thank you, oh, thank you. The grateful witch cried, without you, I'd be in that dragon's insides. Look, nearly all are. She's a happy witch now, isn't she? Then she lifted, filled her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a, you guessed it, a bone. So they threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. Stir it up, what's she going to make? And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. This is a really good bit, you can join in. It goes. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom. Look at it. Wow. With seats for the witch and the cat and the dog. A nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Look, he's at the back here. It's in the middle of the page. There he is. What amazing thing that is. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch, yes, you guessed it, she taps the broomstick. And whoosh, they were gone. Look, the cat's even drinking some milk. How lovely. Well, maybe you could design a truly magnificent broom. Maybe you have some different animals on your broom. I hope you enjoy that story. Until the next time, keep reading. Bye-bye.